So today we're going to be building this wild thing out of connects and it's a sheath with a knife, um, a little throwing star thing that actually hurts. And then it's got a sword in it and I don't know if you can see it but this gray thing here, it actually locks it in place so I'm going to unlock it. There's one on each side so... And then you can draw the sword like this. It's pretty smooth. And you can even... It's also pretty smooth. So, this is the sheath here. And then this video will show you how to build the sheath, the knife, oops, the star, and the sword. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, hello, I'm back. I took apart the first section. And for the first section, you're going to need two of the white uh, size two rods, two of the size three rods, and six of the yellow ones. I think they're size 4. Then for connectors, you'll need two of these connectors and four of these connectors. Okay, the first part that we're going to build is is we're going to take all four of these things, the red ones, and the two of these. And we're going to connect them like this. With a space in between. Make another one. <clears throat> and then connect them with blue rods. And then you'll have this. Okay. Then we're going to make two of these. And then you're going to attach them like this. like this. Just attach it onto the white rod like that. And then it's in between there and the yellow rod sticks straight out. Do the same for the other side. And then put yellow rods on either sides of them. There, so then you have like basically a three layered, whatever you would call that. Okay, that's it for the first step. In a little bit, we're gonna. Sorry, guys, I didn't finish talking before I cut the scene. Anyhow, for the second step, we're gonna need two of these. Four of these, two of these, and two of these. To start off, you're going to take two of these and two of these, and you're going to connect them like that. See? Then you have two. Then you're going to take the other two of these and connect them on like this. So then you have that. 
and then make two of them like this. <coughs> then add the other two of these yellow connectors onto the other side of the blue rods. Like this. And then take the, the other red connectors and make this. That's step two. Time for step three. I'll be right back. Okay. Time for the third step. And just for reference, these orange rods that I have are the same size as one of the red rods that we were using before. I just ran out, so I used orange ones. And then, these, they're basically just yellow rods. Like, they're the same size as yellow rods. They're just a different color. Okay, so, you're going to need four of these, which are the same size as reds. And then, two of these, which are the same size as yellows. Four of these small blue spacers. Oops. And four of these. Then you're going to need two of these, and that's all. All right. So to start, connect a white rod like this onto one of these. All right. Then add two of the smallest blue spacers on onto the white rod like this. Great. And put another yellow connector on the other side. And make another one. There. Now you have two of these things. <clears throat> Okay, then you're going to connect the two with yellow rods, except mine are gray. And make sure that both of the white connectors on this are on the same side, or I mean white rods are on the same side. It's down, and it's down. Then, take the four red rods and connect them like this. And make sure that the red connectors are facing down like this, as in the same direction as the white ones. Because we're going to need, like, it, it's just important. And that's the end of step three. See you in a little bit. Okay, welcome back for the fourth step, and this is the last step of the sheath, and then we're going to build the weapons that go in it. Okay, starting out, we're going to need two of these, four of these, two of these, um, and then four of these, and four of these. And ten of the biggest size spacers. <clears throat> okay. To start out, you take all four of the red connectors and connect them to blue rods. So then you'll have two of these. Then attach yellow rods to them like this. Oops. And then hold them together like this. 
and take two of the gray connectors and put them on like this. Sorry, this is kind of confusing, but put it on like that and snap it on. So then they'll kind of be connected together. Just shove this down all the way. And it'll give it good spacing. So do that to the other side. <clears throat> there. And then what you're going to do is take the other two gray connectors and take this thingy and then on the yellow rods that are going through the gray connectors like through the holes you're going to snap on a gray connector like this see there do that to the other side too So then you've got this. There. On both sides, basically. <clears throat> oh, whoops, sorry, I messed up a little bit. You're gonna want to actually take off all the gray connectors, sorry. And then, actually, t just take one of these prong things and put five spacers on each of them. And then attach them on like this. See? Do that to both sides. So then it looks like this. Then you're going to add the other two gray connectors like before. Right on top, like this. On both sides. Then just fold them in against the other yellow rods. Then take the other two red connectors and basically just put them on like that. And then put it on like that again, and then it makes an X. Okay, that is the end of part four. Now bring all the pieces that you made in previous parts. You know what, I'm going to pause Sorry guys, I just realized it. I messed up again. Sorry about all this, but you actually want to have the gray connectors down at the bottom without the gray spacers on. So the gray connectors should be at the bottom. This is part four. And then slide the five spacers on top. And another thing, let 
that I just realized is that you want to have these ones that are only connected one time on the bottom. It's another mistake that I made. So then slide the five spacers on. There, it should look like this. Now you're ready to get all the pieces and assemble it. So first of all, take this piece and this piece that we just had so much trouble on and connect them like this. You're gonna have to stretch, like, you're gonna have to pull these, whoops. You're gonna have to pull these pretty far apart to connect them, but it works and it makes it better, so that's what I did. Great, then when you're done, you should have this thing. And again, if you have that, these should be on the top. Like the ones that can swing around need to be on the top on the top of everything else. Okay. Then grab these two parts and put them on top of each other so that they make two X's. And then connect them like this. Again, you're going to have to stretch, but it works and it makes it better. So, do that. And you should have this. Then take the first part that we made and put it on. This time you won't have to do a lot of stretching, just like the tiniest little bit maybe. Or maybe even none at all. And then the sheath is done. So that's the sheath. Now let's make the weapons that go on, on it. Let's start with the smallest weapon first, the throwing star thingy. Now this one's really simple, so I'm not going to stop the video to take it apart. You're going to need one of these, it's the blue rod, Oops. one of these, it's like a blue circle except it's got a slit in it. And then six of these white rods. <clears throat> and then basically all you do is you put a blue rod on there and then put white rods all around it. It's just really simple. And then there's a special way to throw it. You hold it like this. Pinch it right here. Shake it around a little so it's sort of loose in your fingers. And then when you throw it, you want to sort of throw it like this. Like use sort of like this, like around the side. <clears throat> and then another way you can throw it is just grab it like this and throw it like this. And just let it sort of spin off your fingers. Now, to put this on the sheath, all you really want to do is you got to snap it sort of onto the red connector, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Like this. So that space, like in the second wire here, on, these, on, this, red, on this red bar here, Sort of snap it on. I mean, it's not going to stay on great, but it works. Next is the knife. Be right back. Okay, welcome back. This thing is a white rod. It's size 2. It's just the same. It's just a different color. So, 
Hang on, you're gonna need one of these, the white rod, and one of these. Then you're gonna need three of these. It's a, it's size four, except it's bendy. It's the same size as the yellow rod, it's just really bendy. You're gonna need three of those. One of these, one of these, three of these, and two of these. Now this is equal to the largest size of rod, like a gray rod, like this. This is the largest size, it's equal to that. But it also, as the other kind, is bendy. You're gonna need two of those. Okay. To start off, we're gonna build this. And then take two of these and connect them on to the only really place that it could connect on. So you should have this. Then take the white wheel and build that. Then take the blue rod and connect it on. And one of these gray things and a bendy rod. It, this one is just pink, but it's the same as one of the orange ones. <laughs> then take two of these, uh, the two long ones. You know what? Hold on a second. I'll be right back. I'm back. I, th I thought right. I actually made a mistake. You're going to want to put these two green rods right beside each other on the white connector. And then take a gray one and cap it off at the top. Nice. Now it's pretty bendy and it doesn't withstand a lot of pressure, but it's okay. It works. To connect it onto the sheath, you're going to find the white rod right above the throwing star <clears throat> and sort of put the white wheel on the white rod. I don't know if you can see it very well, but all I did is put this wheel here onto that white rod. There, like that. And then just lay the star on top of it. There's that. Okay, now on to the last part, the sword. Now that is what's supposed to fit into the sheath. And coming up. Okay, welcome back. The next part is the sword that we're building. First of all, you're going to start out with needing two of these. This is the smallest sized rod. Two of them. Two of size two, two of size three, and then two of size four. And then you're also gonna need two size four bendy rods. Then four of the longest size rods, these are not bendy. Then for connectors, you're going to need one of these, three of these, two of these, two of these, and two of these. To start off, we're going to make the handle. You're going to need these, and, uh, the two yellow rods that aren't bendy, then the two of these, and one of these. Basically all you gotta do is build this. Then connect that onto the white wheel. It's 
going to stretch a lot, but then you're going to come up with this. You can take the two small size rods and put them on like this. Then take the two of whatever these are called and put them on the sides like this. Then add the blue rods and two of these gray connectors and you're going to have this. Then take the two bendy rods and connect them on to the thing like this. Like this. And then take two of the longest size rods and connect them on like this. See? Great. Then take two of the yellow pieces and one of these and build this and put that on the end. So then you're going to have this. Great, then take the rest of the pieces and build this. Then connect that onto the end of the sword like this. And then you're going to have this. It's pretty long, but to fit in camera screen. And then to put it on the sheath, all you got to do is locate the top where the spacers are. And, whoops. I'm just going to take the knife off. It doesn't fit well. Very well. Anyhow, take the sword and put it point down inside the top and sheath it all the way down to the bottom. Then to lock it, it's kind of hard to see, but these gray connectors, they're going to want to be opened on both sides so that you can fit the sword down past them and then lift them up. Sorry, it's a little hard to do. Like, lift them up and close them like this so that it's sort of closing this side in and it can't get out. Do that to the other side to lock it as well. There. Now it's locked in. Now you can actually wear this with a belt and I'll show you that in a second. Be right back. Okay, first of all you're going to want to take the knife and the throwing star off of it and just have the sheath here. Then put the belt on. You're going to want it to be pretty big. Put it on so that there's just a little bit of space. Just like the tiniest little bit of space. There. So there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of space in here for the sheath. Then take the sheath and put it through that space. Like this. And then tighten it if you need to. I mean, I need to tighten it usually all the time when I put it on. You want it tight enough that it's not just going to slip through. And actually, I think you can tighten it pretty much all you want. Because it won't close it so that the sword can't fit in. But the sword will fit in. And then just put the sword, I mean the knife and throwing star on. And you're armed. And then you can just fight imaginary things. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching if you did watch.